In this video, you will learn how to clone any voice using a new code of RVC on Google Collab for free. This method works on the computer and mobile phone without problems. In this video, I will make the tutorial using a computer. In a coming video, I will make a tutorial using a mobile phone. So make sure to subscribe to my channel for more related tutorials. This tutorial will be in four main parts. Preparing the audio file that will be used to train the model. Training the model on Google Collab for free. Saving the model on Google Drive for later use or to resume training. Using the model to replace any voice with the model voice. First, preparing the audio file used to train the model. The audio file used in training is what determines the quality of the model. Preferably 3 to 5 minutes of clean audio, without silence, noise or music. In this tutorial I will clone my own voice. And I will create a model that can sing or speak any language. You can record an audio file for yourself on your computer using Audacity. Or you can even record the sound on your mobile phone and transfer it to your computer. In order to enhance the audio and increase its quality, I will use the free Adobe Audio Enhancer tool. You will find all the links in the video description. It will appear to you like this. Click Sign In. And log in with your Gmail email. Then click on Choose Files to upload the audio file. After that, the tool will work on the audio file. Leave it until it's over. After that, you will see a preview of the audio file after enhancing it. Click here to download the file to your device. That's it, the audio file is ready. Now we are ready for part 2. Training the model on Google Collab for free. Open your Google Chrome browser and make sure that you are logged in with your Gmail email. Open the Google Collab project link and it will appear like this. I can assure you that this is the easiest and simplest code you will ever see for using RVC on Google Collab for free. Run the main step. This window will appear to you. Click Run Anyway. The step will start working. This step will to install the RVC program on Google Collab. It will take approximately 5 minutes. After it is finished, a green checkmark will appear next to the step. After that, training the model. The first step in training the model is to upload the audio file that we prepared to train the model on. Click and run step 1. A Choose Files button will appear. Click on it and choose the audio file that we prepared. The audio file will start uploading. Uploading the enhanced audio file will take some time, maybe 10 minutes or more depending on the length of the file. After the upload is complete, a small check mark will appear next to the step. After that, step 2. In this step, we will specify the name of the model, and the program will analyze the audio file that we uploaded in the previous step. Here we will write the name of our model. The model name must be in English without spaces or symbols. I will use the model name, for example, Baha. In this box, I will not change anything. Leave it on RMVP underscore GPU. Then run the step. It will start working. After it is finished, a green check mark will appear next to the step. After that, step 3. In this step, the model will be trained. Here we will write the same name of the model that we wrote before. It must be the exact same name. In this part, we will determine the number of epochs. Quite simply, the number of epochs is what determines the extent of the model's training. The more, the better. But it is preferable that it be between 200 and 1000. Here I will train the model on 100 epics just for the tutorial purpose. In the next video, I will explain how to resume training the model on a higher number of epics. So if you are interested, make sure to subscribe to my channel. 
Then run step three. It will start working. This step takes time depending on the number of epochs you set. This is not an error. You won't need the tensor board. After the training is completed without errors, a green check mark will appear next to the step. We have finished part two. Now let's move to part three. This is the most important part after training the model, because we will save all the training files of the model on Google Drive, so we can use the model at any other time, or we can even resume the training to improve its quality. Here I will write the exact same name of the model we trained. For me, I will write Baha. I will leave this choice unsafe and run the step. This window will appear to you. This is the window for connecting Google Collab with Google Drive. Click here, and then here, and then here, and then here. After the connection is complete, the step will start working. Wait for it to finish. It may take three minutes, more or less. That's it. The saving is done. If you go to Google Drive of the same email used in Google Collab, you will find a new folder named RVC underscore packages. Open it. Wait until a file with the name of the model appears. You can wait a minute for this file to appear. You will find a large file, more than one gigabyte in size. That's great. We have created the model and saved its file on our Google Drive. Part 3 is done. Now let's move to part 4. Using the model to replace any voice with the model voice. Move to section RVC inference. In step 1, our target file will be uploaded. This is the audio file which we will replace its voice with the model voice. The target audio file must be a very clean and high quality audio and free of any noise or music. Run step 1. A Choose Files button will appear. Click on it and upload the target audio file. After the upload is complete, a small check mark will appear next to the step, and a preview of the uploaded file will appear. This is a vocal audio file of a singer named Frank Sinatra, as he sings a famous song called Fly Me to the Moon. Of course, I won't be able to play it because of copyrights but I will play the result after a minute. Next, step two. In this step, we will determine the model we will use. In this box, I will write the exact name of the model I want to use. For me, I will write here, Ba. This second part is about determining the genre of voice to convert from and convert to. If I change the voice from male to male or from female to female, this value will remain zero. If I change the voice from a female to male, this value will be minus 12. If I change the voice from male to female, this value will be 12. Here I am changing the voice from male to male, so this value will be 0. Leave these settings as they are. Then run the step. It will start working. After finishing, a preview of the result audio file will appear. This was the result. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars, and let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. To download the result audio file, click these three dots and choose download and save the file on your device. If you want to try the model on another audio file, go to step one again. Run step one and upload the new target file. Then run the step two and wait for it to finish. Then, the result preview will appear. Si vous avez aimé la vidéo et que vous souhaitez voir plus de tutoriels, abonnez-vous à ma chaîne. Merci d'avoir regardé.
and you can download it in the same way. Okay, that's great. Now let's say I come another day and want to use the model I trained. How to do that? Because once you disconnect from Google Collab, all the files will be deleted. Will I have to train the model again? No, of course. That's why we uploaded the model file on Google Drive. Here I will disconnect from Google Collab. From the list above, click Runtime. Disconnect and delete Runtime. And click Yes. I will close the page completely. I will assume that I came another day and will open the Google Collab project link. Run the main step. Click Run anyway. Wait until the installation of the RVC program finish and a check mark appears next to the step. Then go to the section of Load Model from Google Drive. Here I will write the same name as the model that I want to load from Google Drive. Here I will paste the link of the model file. Go to Google Drive to get the link to the model, but I have to change its general access first. Right-click on the model file. Choose Share. Then Share. Change restricted to anyone with the link. Then click Done. You will do this only once. Not every time I come to get the model link. To copy the model link, right-click on the model file and choose Share. Then Copy Link. Go back to Google Collab and paste the model link here. Here is a very important note. There is no necessary that the email to which the model file is uploaded on be the same as the email which you use in Google Collab. For example, let's say that you train a model on email one and uploaded the model to Google Drive with email one. It may happen that your Google Collab not work on email one later for any reason. For example, you may reach the limits of daily use. At this case, you can use Google Collab with another email, email two, for example, and use the link of the model file in the email one Google Drive. Therefore, we will never lose what we have done. After that, I will run the step. Wait until the step is finished and a check mark will appear. Now we are ready to use this model. Go to the section of using the model. Run step 1 and upload the target audio file. Then go to the step 2. I will write the same name as the model I want to use. Then I will run the step. After it is finished, the result will appear. Se ti è piaciuto il video e vuoi vedere altri tutorial, iscriviti al mio canale. Grazie per la visione. In the coming video, I will show you how to resume training your model on higher value of epics to improve its quality. Thanks for watching. See you next video.